Hello, welcome back to my Hero Wars Let's Play. It's probably going to be a pretty big episode. Um, we're probably about an hour away from my arena time, but we got a lot to do today. We are probably going to gain level 130, so we'll be done leveling, which means we'll do our final tower run today. We might just take our time in the tower since we want to, you know, enjoy ourselves. Um, and we're going to finish some of these quests here. Oh, it's Fafnir. I probably need to do a video about Fafnir because he's Hero of the Month and I haven't got that done yet either. Been busy trying to do some other things. Um, See, we actually want to open the other chest too. That's right, because we're trying to get our quest done. We might have to fight some extra bosses today. Get some of these extra chests. We need seven more, so that's a uh, fight one boss. All right, that looks good. Poor Artem is gonna die first hit here. Right, it's, she's gonna die really quickly. Unless, you know, the spider never attacks her, I guess that's always possible. Oh, there she goes. Told you she wasn't going to make it. <laughs> Poor Spiderling just got a whole face full of kunais. There we go. Boom. Level 60 boss down. Yeah, I never do these fights unless you need it for a quest to open up some extra chests. That's the way I always do it. I think it's the best strategy, so you can get some of these extra quests. You just need 80 more souls of heroes. Then we have to decide how many emeralds we want to spend. Because we're, like... We're almost to 10,000, but we're a long way from 20,000. We'll probably get it from energy spend, so we'll have to decide if we want to go 20,000. Probably not, but we do want to open some extra stuff, but we're going to gain our level right here. We're going to get level 130 right here, guys. There it is. Level 130. That's it. That's the last level. We'll never see that screen ever again. Remember it always. Let's see, I guess I needed to do a bit more on the other scene too. We have plenty of those. Plenty of those, so let's just do the cheap one. This weekend we should probably try doing more of the campaign since we're 130 now. Oh, should we have a whole another one to make? Fine, fine, fine. 
Alright. Dang it. Guess we want to level up everybody. For the last time. Alright, so they don't need to level up anymore, so... Could probably start leveling up some of these other heroes. We don't really have a lot, so we'll just wait. Um, we might need them for, like, a different hero or something. But, uh, we can definitely do the level up everyday quest. So we need to switch up. Da, da, da. There we go. Guess we can equip that on her. Alright, we'll equip that. We got a bunch of that stuff. Equip that. There you go. All right. We're over 10,000 now, so I don't, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to spend another 10,000 emeralds. I mean, we could, but then when we be out of emeralds, I think we just want to hold on to them. As much as I want to get that next totem, I just kind of, I think we want to wait till another 4x, wait for a better event, because this one's just super top heavy on spending. I know. When are we ever going to get that other totem? I know. Wonder if then we could open our other our other spheres and stuff. But patience is the way it got us this far. Patience is the way. Kane's max level. I think we just want to keep leveling up, uh, Mara. Yes, that makes sense. Just keep working on her. Get that deadly weakness up so Arachne's even more effective. Can we max this out yet? Mm -hmm. Violet Oliver. Big boost to patronage. Oh yeah, I think we need to actually raid an adventure too. Raid adventure. Boom. This means we should probably sell the word level 130. We should probably switch up our defending team here. Put Sebastian here. There you go. Five violet patrons. Boom. Switch up our arena defense as well. Oh, we dropped an arena today. I see you, Alexander. Jorgen, well, we got Sebastian on defense now, so Jorgen's and your shenanigans aren't going to be as easy. Let's see, I guess you should look at our quest here. Physical attack cliff. I should probably do that further. That's fine. We probably should have taken that further, but that's fine. We can do it later. We needed more skills on him. Okay, and then I guess we want to do... We could do Christopher. I think we want to finish Aiden. Boom. Okay. Tower Queens. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, that's right. We got five pets to Violet Ring. Boom. And then 11 heroes to five plus one, to five plus two. Nice. The gold quests are pretty meh, but we got those particles that are just nice. 
Try to figure out which pet we want to work on next. Probably Merlin. Or Axel. Cases to be made for both. Or we can just keep working on Kane since we got five patrons. Which might be is that we're still an hour from arena time. Let's not do that yet. Let's do the tower. And then we can probably look at spending our energy to like 13k. Using up some of our energy emails and our bottled energy and stuff like that. That's the goal anyway. Alright. Actually, let's turn off speed off combat, because, you know, this is our last tower run. We will never get to fight these fights ever again. We should enjoy them. Savor the moment. Nice. There we go. This is all we need for this fight here. We don't need a full team. <laughs> Kane. Yeah, my main account, I actually used to just use three heroes for the fun of it, and we didn't have pets back then. We didn't even have pets. Oh, so we should probably keep Celeste in dark mode. Probably actually should have not even used Celeste Salt there so we had the energy for the next one, but that's fine.
you actually have a full devourer of mages, that's actually pretty cool. Like I said, these tower fights really don't scale. Like they're supposed to they're supposed to scale on level, but they really don't do it very well, so they just get easier and easier. A lot of these guys aren't even close to 130. Like level 80, I mean, like, I don't know why why they aren't closer to 130. At least they least uh, Dante had a patron that time. Like, we saw a pet that time. We got a pet here. Like, I mean, that's something. At least we see. At least we are seeing some patrons and some pets. No patron there, but we did have a pet, so... Level 83. Like, I mean, I just don't understand the levels. They're so low here. Can't even get that full energy. Killed them so quick. So I mean, the levels are just way too low, all these 80s. We're even the higher floors of the tower now, and we're still getting low lows. I could have saved Aurora's energy. Not like it matters too much. Hey, wow, look at that. Patrons. Wow, that's actually impressive. We got a bunch of patrons there. A pet, three patrons. I think just two more fights, guys. So we probably want to put Arachne and Maya back in after this one. So they'll be in the final screens. Because once you clear the tower, the final team we use will always be uh, the one that's shown on screen. So we want to definitely have... Get the best screen here. We don't want to have a screen just three heroes, right? Because then it'll make it look like we lost some fights. Well, we didn't. We didn't lose any heroes. Okay, last fight. Super important. We put Arachnid Maya back in here. Arachnid Maya. There you go. This will be our final team for tower. Level 79 is the final tower boss. I know. Can we do it? Be cool if it's actually 130. At least they have a pet. We did start seeing a lot of pets the last couple times, so. Yay. Oh, shoot. Didn't switch her back quick enough. Oh, Galahad. You're my final opponents. Bye bye, Galahad. Hey, Oliver Patron. Wow, it was actually Violet Oliver Patron. Look at that. He was healing. He had some regen going. A miracle, guys. All right, we'll never see tower. We'll never see tower fights again. But now this, see these five heroes. Because you can never switch your heroes again. These will always be my final heroes for the screen when I do my clear the chests. Like, that's that's what determines is whatever heroes you used in combat last. So we want to have the five ladies here. All these ladies. Lovely ladies. All right, so what other stuff do we need? Souls of Hero, we need energy. You know, we got a souls and energy right here. Let's 
some souls and some energy. Do we need 54 more souls? Mm, I guess we'll do that. Don't really like spending all these coins, but. Twenty four more. Don't want to spend gold trophies on stuff. Oh, well, we can buy those because we do have the silver coins. Kai, I guess you're getting some. That must leave four more souls. Okay. Goes all of our freaking coinage. But we want these 28 boxes, so it's totally worth it. We could probably max out Celeste's artifact weapon today. Level up artifact here. So we can do that. We need about 80. We might be wrong, but you know, we'll always use them later, so. I think Celeste is like level 89. Level 89. Max this out. Oh, we were pretty close. Right on, I think. Yep, we were perfect on that pretty much. We could have saved like five chests, but we were close. Pain stuff. Okay, let's see. We got some Oh, new avatar frame. New Avatar Frame, you have the trainer's talent in your blood day and night, battle after battle. You didn't just hone your skill in battle with chaos, but you also trained your pets and helped them improve. May your genius serve our country and set an example for all master trainers throughout the Dominion. Nice. That has charges and it charges. There you go. There's some energy. Charges, energy. Most of these are probably going to be charges. Okay, that's probably enough energy. Maybe not. We can go look for some more in a bit here, but let's try getting Sebastian up here. We want to get to Sebastian where he has at least 40% energy at the start of fights. We're good on that for a minute. Mm -hmm. 39.32. So some armor pen. One of his few armor pen items. He does not get very good armor penetration. Raises strength and health. It's not really what he needs, but we got the stuff for it, so. Oh wow, we get to use some of these lycanthrope veins finally. <laughs> like I so said, we have so many of those right now, so it's probably a good thing. I guess we'll do one of this here. Ch 
duality. So we are 39.568 here. Oh, obviously you want to do this one. Flaming Heart is something we need a lot of. So it's a nice uh, compensatory price. See, we got enough. We got we pretty much ended up with the whole Flaming Hearts worth of stuff, too. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Well, we got all that stuff, so oh, we need another one of those. Boom. See, flaming hearts. We go through a lot of them. Still not there. What are we missing? We got that. Oh, we are barely missing stuff here. Guess we'll do another one of these since we ended up needing those too, so. Oh shoot, there we go. Physical attack. Still not quite there. What? Well, three out of gold. We want to wait, though, because uh, we got, I think, a Titan event coming up tomorrow. Or so I've heard, so we'll just wait. So we're missing uh, Hand of Glory, huh? All right. And a glory. Guess we'll do with these ones. Probably just do that whole thing. See if we have some more emails, maybe. Do we have more hero promote rewards? Obviously. Hey, there we do. We do have more energy. Seven. Okay, those are all. Charge, 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 wait. Oh, hey, those are nice. I could should have claimed those for the souls. I forgot we had some of those in here. I think the rest are going to be... So no more energy there. So we'll, if anything else, we'll have to do uh, po some potions. We have some energy potions, though, which will be fine. I think we actually want the other one because uh, the loots are more useful overall. I mean, we got enough of the portal gems, aka the 20 sided dice. So boom, boom. Mm -hmm. There we go, 40%. That right there is a huge, like, boom. It's 50k power. Oops, wrong button. All right, how much more energy do we need? Let's see. I guess we could buy that, too. Then we'll use one more. That should get us really close. What's the other one here? Because I think we're going to need these helium harpoons in the future for him as well, so we'll just keep going on this one. We have enough of the Aclepis staff frags, so... Can look at this again. All right, I guess we're gonna try getting in the sixties first.
Shoot. All right, now I think we got it. Let's, uh, now we got it. We got it. Kira did more damage than I was anticipating, but we got it. Okay, let's go do some of our Titan stuff. Guess we can look at this too. I'll take that one every day. Yeah, control, that's fine. It's 50 though, we did that's always cool. It's always good to get 50. Grab these. Alright, we did those last night. So the next scene's probably gonna be our minion fights. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're not set for that, so we'll start on the ones. Last week started the threes because we were pretty much still set up for it, so. Like we could have put a different hero instead of Jew, but Jew's fine here. Because the rest of the team, this team will wreck up anyway, so we do need Jew, Jew for uh, Merida. Yeah. Poor Jew didn't have a chance. That's pretty much what Theo always does too, so it's fine. Bye bye. Uh, we're still doing 115 minions, so. Like, I think our guild could probably level up the minions to 125 at this point. Uh, Jew took a hit. Oh, no, that's probably from himself. He probably self-inflicted that one. 
That's right, he self-inflicts wounds. Okay, now we gotta clean up these teams here. Let's see, Juthia. Actually, you know what? We could probably just do our... These people. Galahad. There you go. I think that works. <laughs> wow, Kayla, top and DPS there. <laughs> that was quick. 
20 seconds flat. Okay, now here's where we take this out here, put right here. Probably put Jew, uh, sorry, uh, all this here, and then probably that, and then see what other heroes we got. Mm, but I think we want Martha here. Um, Galahad here. Mm, I think that's actually what we want because we want a couple speed bumps for Jew. Okay, let's see if Chu can win. Chu and Kayla. Y'all had. Nice. Yeah, this team seems to be working okay. It was a fairly quick win, too. Kayla doing the damage. Bye-bye. Kayla's ability to do AE damage is actually pretty good.
No, Sebastian. Oh no, Kayla, shoot. Phobos killing us. It's okay though, we got Alvis to finish for the coup de gras. Bye bye. Luther's the only one with energy, so you don't want too far back, but I think I still made it too far back and he didn't do it quite quick enough. But, uh, I don't know. Luther's the only one with energy, so it's the only one that Nebu can drain energy from. Oh, too not quick enough. That's fine, we killed him. Boom. Alright, 450 emblems. Let's go Stellar Tank and Astral Shield. Alright, so that takes care of that. Let's get these here. And let's do some arena fights. Well, we're our last Grand Arena too. Samuel here. Hope the bottom one's easy. Chomp it out. I think we're gonna lose this one. Morgan's mean is gonna screw up Arachne and uh, Yasmin's gonna shred our team. Yeah, this is a loss. Let's speed this up. Let's go. Sebastian starting 40% energy is a big deal. There we go. Oh, Disrendi's up. So I can stun them, they can't stun me. This means it's a win. So we uh, bye bye. The power of Ode to Serenity. Twins. Mm. We might want to do Biscuit next. We can try this one. Um, Or 
Ooh, where? Here we go. Let's use Isaac here. Let's try and get him to silence in. So Thea can silence too, but I'm like, you know, Isaac might be better. Not especially now he got all of her patron up. They don't really have a lot of status effects to put pressure on me, so we can cut Sebastian here. Oh yeah. I think we even do with law damage. He just silenced him. Sometimes silence is all you need. So we got Sebastian. But uh, if they have Biscuit, we could probably still lose because uh, Biscuit Patron on Maya could really wreck us up here. But we can still see if we can finally beat Oleg. Shoot. Uh, Bjorken's getting us here. We might just also just not be strong enough here. There we go. Otis Rennie's finally up. Took long enough. Maybe we can now grind him out. Okay, good. Going good so far. Oh nope, Ode's already down. They probably have Biscuit Patron. Oh, there's actually Ode's is up, back up. Shoot, nope, we're dying, we're dying. Nope, nope, we just lost, we just lost, lost. We can't win without Celeste. Nope, it's gotta be a loss. Close one though. Like Oleg is still like 50k more powerful than us, so. Sebastian definitely closed the gap here. Oh, Biscuit right here. Yep, Biscuit Patron. Not on Maya, but enough to cause us problems. Could try that. Or we could try Jew. Uh, let's try this. Some extra armor buffing. Because we actually have some progress on Aiden's artifacts, so we might be able to benefit from that armor buffing if he gets a chance to use it, which he might not. And Aiden might just be a detriment here. Is he not strong enough? Yeah, maybe it's on. Hey, worth a shot. Don't know if we can actually get another rank up, so. We want to get top 10. It's quite the ask. Quite a big ask for top 10 here. Unfortunately, Oleg really is my best shot. Could try... Oh, this mouth is pretty weak, but... Or, could try Mara. Could 
Oh, shoot, I forgot to put out for Sebastian. This is a loss. I forgot to switch Sebastian back in. Well, that was a mistake. Oh, well. Needed Sebastian. We really needed Sebastian here. Messed up there. Forgot to switch in Aiden. Or switch out Aiden for Sebastian. Thus we get good stuns. We are screwed. Aiden would probably make more sense for all this <laughs> to be the pets. But now Sebastian to protect against all those status effects would have been really needed, but we messed up. Oh well, that's where we're gonna finish tonight. Yep, this is a loss. Let's speed this up. Yeah, we did much better, Sebastian. See, twice Sebastian's so good. Alright, so I think that's gonna wrap up this episode. Alright, thank you for watching. Come join me for the next one. We'll see you again soon.